Hi guys, my name is Sayelski and today I'm going to show you my updated guide on optimizing your graphics card settings especially for AMD. For those who have uh, version 19 and above, this guide is applicable for you. Without further ado, let's go right into it. So first and foremost, I would still suggest you to update your graphics card drivers with a link on the description below. Once you have installed the latest drivers, you can access this settings by right clicking your desktop and clicking on AMD Radeon settings and this one will show up so first you, you have to check for updates by clicking on updates here and check for updates and apparently I'm using the latest one there are times that it will give you an optional update here and I would suggest using those as soon as possible so after that uh, kindly go to gaming so for gaming, I currently have a default set here. You can remove profiles from every now and then uh, if the settings are not to your taste so that it will use the global settings instead. So click on global settings and here it will show you a different uh, page as opposed to the previous versions. So first we're going to change anti-aliasing mode. So for this one, you can click on Override Application Settings. You can change this to two times so that it will use the least amount of indie aliasing. For indie aliasing method, I would suggest adaptive multi-sampling. I would not suggest super sampling as it will eat out your performance when playing games, especially if you're using a very old card. Next would be morphological filtering, leave it as disabled. Then anisotropic filtering mode would be enabled and change it to two times as well. The texture filtering quality should be set as at performance and surface format optimization to on. Then vertical refresh should always be enhanced sync. Then triple buffering for OpenGL applications should be enabled. Shader cache should be also enabled. Tessellation mode, we will change it to override application settings and change it to as low as possible. In this case, I set it two times, eight times. It's up to you if you would like to uh, use lower levels as it will increase your gaming performance, especially the polygons that is showing on your screen will look much flatter if you select two times and there will be more depth to it if you use 64x so in this tutorial i'm going to use eight times GP gpu workload it should always be set to graphics chill it's up to you if you're going to use this uh, i'm using i'm currently using a water cooling loop for my graphics card so i won't be using this uh, frame rate Target control is for your graphics card to limit its F targeted FPS so it won't exceed the one that you have set up. So if you set this at 30 FPS, almost all of the games will only run at 30 FPS. So if you have a high refresh rate monitor, you can select any of this one. But for me, I leave this disabled. Next would be Global Wattman. So you can click on the next tab here, Global Wattman, and you can go ahead and scroll down to the bottom of it, and you can change the power limit to plus 50%. This will increase the maximum limit of your graphics card, so it will run faster. But, but please keep in mind that this will also introduce heat to your graphics card. So it, it's up to you if you're going to sacrifice the heat versus performance ratio. So for this one, once you have set that, you can click on apply. So up, after clicking apply, you can go ahead and click on performance monitoring. In this one, it's up to you to set this all on on or off or any hotkey you would like to set it to. Uh, what it does, it, it shows you the FPS if there is a, an FPS for your graphics card and utilization and whatnot so all those bunch of stuffs will show up when you play your game next would be 
we're going to go to video so in this one you can select custom disable everything else and set the custom brightness to zero so this one is more on your video playback so when you're playing your video on your own video player these settings will apply so it's up to you to mix match these settings as it will not affect any performance with your game next for real live i currently not have this one installed so it's up to you if you're going to use this one so i'm currently using obs for live streaming and action uh, release action for uh, recording this video so connect it will be up to you to use this as well for me i, I don't really use this so click on understand so it's like a new one instead for me so next would be display so for display if you're using a different uh, monitor or in my case you ha I have two monitors you can set them both individually so for color depth you can select what whichever is available and for pixel format I would suggest to have it full RGB so you will get the most color out of your graphics card so I will set them both as full RGB hopefully this not affect the recording of my video scaling mode would be preserve aspect ratio and other than that you can leave them as off so if you have free sync your monitor have free sync you can definitely enable that as it will increase your performance with high refresh rate monitors other than that uh, that's it so for Ifinity I, I don't really use this so if you have very low spec um, computer you won't be using this as well what does this do is it joins multiple monitors into one so you will only have one desktop this is ideal for multi-monitor that are playing with fps or racing games aside from that i'm going to show you my settings so uh settings i'm going to show you my settings tab and in this one uh, as you can see i have the latest version and i have the ryzen 7 1700 as my processor and currently i have my rx 580 graphics card installed so there you have it uh, this is my tutorial on how to optimize your graphics card with the latest version uh, version 19 and above so hope this guys help you a lot and if it did uh, kindly like this video if you like it please do subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot and i will be posting new updates for this tutorial as soon as there is a new driver update and there is a new feature so stay tuned and that's it for me bye bye